Hello, fifth graders. It's Mrs. Casilio, your virtual teacher. And here we are again for week four, lesson 17. I'm excited to be with you. I'm looking forward to our work today. So our guiding questions. How do natural disasters affect the people and places that experience them? And how can we prepare for a natural disaster? Okay, so the materials you will need today are lesson 17, the lesson 17 note catcher, our Hurricane Matthew article, and a sharpened pencil. You know the drill. If you need your materials, press pause. If not, if you've got everything ready, let's keep it rolling. So our learning target for today, I can determine the meaning of general and domain specific words, word phrases, there's a little typo there, it should be word phrases, as they pertain to the first three sections of the article. Hurricane Matthew causes major damage to parts of Haiti. Let's take a look at this learning target. We've done this before together, but let's just, it's kind of a lot of words. Let's unpack this together. So I can determine, so I can find the meaning of vocabulary words, general words, and then also domain specific that have something to do with the hurricanes and natural disasters. I'm only going to be looking in what part? The first three sections of the article for my work today. Okay. All right, let's get started. So what I want you to do is grab your article. You're only gonna read those first three sections. Read it with someone and um, go ahead and press pause. Do your very best reading and then we're gonna come back and do some thinking together. Okay, so our thinking. I want you to think about what are these three sections mainly about, okay? How do these sections support the main ideas of this article? Go ahead and press pause and do your thinking. Now that you've done your thinking, I want you to talk with someone, family member, a caregiver, or friend, talk about the following questions. How did Hurricane Matthew affect the people of Haiti? And what clues can you find in the text that help you understand the impact Hurricane Matthew had? Okay, go ahead and press pause and talk about these two statements. Okay, so our writing, we're gonna use this lesson 17 note catcher. You are going to record the gist for the first three sections of the text, as well as unfamiliar vocabulary and their meaning. Okay, we've used a note catcher just like this before, but let's look at this together. So you can see we've got four columns across the top. The first column says text, then it says gist, which is a reminder of what is it mostly about, unfamiliar vocabulary words, and then we're gonna find the meanings. You can use a dictionary, your cell phone, computer, whatever means you have to find the meaning of these unfamiliar vocabulary words. Okay, so in the first section, Hurricane Matthew causes major damage to parts of Haiti. You're gonna go ahead and look at just that first section. You're gonna write the gist, unfamiliar vocabulary, and the meaning. If you wanna press pause and do that work now, you can. In the second section, which is titled 40 inches of rain. Again, the gist on just that section, any unfamiliar vocabulary words for you, and remember they can be domain specific or just general vocabulary words. And then the meaning to those words. And then our last section, section three, the, it's titled big waves and big wind. So again, you will write the gist, what that section is mostly about, some unfamiliar vocabulary words, and then the meaning of those vocabulary words. Okay, thumbs up, you should be good to go. Go ahead and press pause and do your very best writing. All right, so you've had a chance to do your writing. What I would like for you to do is share that with a family or friend. Read about what, or not, well yeah, read it. Read about what you wrote and explain why you wrote it, okay? And then of course, grab a good book, do 20 minutes of reading plus, read with someone if you can, or read to someone. And then our fluency practice today, you're gonna to practice reading the text with fluency and expression, how many times? Dose, two times. And again, this may be redundant, and you're like, Mrs. Casilio, I don't wanna read it two times, I just read it yesterday and the day before. This is gonna help you increase your ability to become a fluent reader. It's something we can all work on, reading with expression, reading with emotion, reading smoothly. So go ahead and take your time, do your very best work, and I will see you back here 
for lesson 18. So you have an amazing day. Bye.